Well, today is Teach for Malaysia's 10th anniversary, so we're celebrating 10 years of impact in Malaysia. If we truly want to see change in education in our lifetimes, we need to really scale the number of people that are in this work. And so looking forward to 2030, we have this massive aspiration where we want to go from 1,000 to 30,000 leaders by 2030. I was in the first cohort, so I had zero expectations, no idea what it would be like. So I thought in Pulau Ketam, where 60% of the families are B40, and I think I really wasn't prepared for how far behind my students were and the kind of challenging backgrounds that they were from. How can you teach a curriculum that's designed for 16-year-olds when they can't even read? So. The second year I decided, this is not working, I'm just really going to teach them basic skills that they really need, try and build their confidence. And I think that made it a lot easier for me to connect to my students and also to help them to you know, get the skills and the confidence that they needed. I cried after watching the video. I'm just so surprised and thanks TFM for recording such an amazing story. Seeing everyone in a room together, people from sort of all aspects of the organization, from fellows, former fellows, students, the team members, the trustees, the, the supporters from the, in terms of the donors, in terms of the ministry, in terms of those who are taught in, in classes and everything else. Uh, seeing them all in a room and seeing how energized everybody was, seeing the performance by the students, that was amazing. The fact that the organization has come to this 10-year milestone is a testament to the work the team has done. So I'm really confident the next 10 years going towards the goal of 30,000 leaders to change Malaysia. We do need that tipping point. The students we teach today are not only uh, going to be employees of tomorrow, they're going to be parents and also they're going to be voters of tomorrow. So what, what country are we building together? I believe that as educators we have the greatest role to play in reshaping the world and if we want our adults to operate differently and exert the kind of collective leadership necessary to achieve peace and sustainability and inclusiveness and justice, we need to start in our classrooms. And that's what the Teach for Malaysia people are clearly working to do. I'm so inspired to see this level of commitment to the long game that this work is. I have so much optimism about the future here. The first time I heard about TFM was from the fellow who was in my school. Um, his name is Mr. Chong. He used a really different way of teaching. Looking back, there were so many opportunities that were given to me, which was because of TFM. You know, uh, I went for competitions, I went for exhibitions, so it really played a big part in my life. After this anniversary session, I was really inspired. Like, I really wanted to get to know the students even more, um, meet them where they at, and inspire them to do more, to fulfill their potential. In Post Kema, there are 100% Orang Temiak. So this is the first cohort where we are in Orang Asli schools. And Orang Asli education is one of the things that we kind of rarely look into or talk about when it comes to Malaysian education. Once I went in the village, I could see that they have a different lifestyle that we don't understand from the outside world, from KL. Going in there, you kind of get a sense of what type of learning they want because they have a different focus. Some of them, they want to be mechanics because it's important in their village, right? And some of them, they want to go and learn how to cook. And I guess it's, it's just trying to guide them to get where they want to go. Currently, we're actually recruiting uh, for our next cohort of the fellowship as well as our next cohort of Duta Guru teachers. So we hope that anyone who's passionate to make a difference in education or if there is a STEM teacher that's out there that wants access to a community, professional development and support that they would please apply. Yeah.